it's time for math. We're going to be talking about watermelons today, Miss Denver grew some, Mr. Vanderpool grew some, so let's get right to the problem. All right, Miss Denver's farm grew some watermelons, and Mr. Vanderpo Vanderpool's farm grew some watermelons. How many watermelons did they both grow together? So let's look at this for just a second. All right, so Miss Denver, her farm grew 445 watermelons. 445, okay. Mr. Vanderpool, they both have watermelon gardens, grew 373 watermelons. Okay, so I know that Miss Denver grew some watermelons, Mr. Vanderpool grew some watermelons in the hundreds, of course. So we want to know how many watermelons did they both grow together? So together, 445, 373. We want to know how many they grew together. That's right. We're going to add to get the answer. Okay? Really good. So I'm going to take these numbers and add them. Now you can do a hundreds, tens, and ones chart, or you can just draw out your hundreds, tens, and ones, however you want to do it. I'm going to do a chart because I like to be organized. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the first group right here, which is 445. So I know if I break those apart, it'll be 400 here, 40 here, and 5 here. So I'm going to go ahead and do 100, 200, 300, 400. 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then Mr. Vanderpool has 373. So I'm going to go ahead 100, 200, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and then 1, 2, 3. So just looking at our problem, I know that I'm probably just going to have to regroup in the tens. And you can't have more than 10 here. You need to have nine. If you have more than 10, then it goes to the hundreds. Okay? So let's go ahead and start with the ones. I'm going to count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, good. No regrouping. So I, I know I have eight there. All right. So here we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I have 100 here, and if you've been working these problems at all, you know that when you have 100, you group it up, and you pull it over here to the 100. Okay, so I have 10 right here, just 110, so I'm going to go ahead and put a 1 right here. It's 110. All right, then I'm going to count up my 100s, 10, 20, 30, oh, sorry, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. So I've got 818 watermelons right here. 818. So Mrs. Denver and Mr. Vanderpool together, they have 818 watermelons. Good job. So I direct modeled these. I drew out all of them. Now I'm going to use numbers and combine the same units together. Okay, so here's our problem right here. I'm going to sort of do an expanded form, 400, and then 40, and then 5. And then I'm going to do the same right here, 373. And I know that I add, so I'm going to add all these together and join them down here. Okay, so I've got 400 plus 300, 400 plus 300 is 700, okay? Now, I've got 40 plus 70, so I can start with the largest number, 70 here, and if I get a little bit confused, I can go ahead and draw out 40 right here, 70, 80, 90, 100, and then this last one, since we're counting by tens, is 110. So I've got 110 right there. Now, 5 plus 3 we know is 8. So I'm going to write it all out down here. All right, so 
400, let me start on that. 400 plus 300 gets me to 700. And I'm gonna kind of break this up into 100 and then a 10. So 700 plus 100 gets me to 800. Then don't forget about this 10 plus 10 gets me to 810. I was thinking I could go the whole line. Plus, what do we have left? Eight gets me to 818. Good job. So I've got 818 watermelons. All right, so the last way that I'm gonna show you is a way that a lot of you um, like to try to do it, but maybe we haven't mastered that yet. So I'm gonna show you kind of a little bit how it's done. So I'm going to uh, put my numbers right here, 445, and I'm gonna line them up, one on top of the other. And then I know that it's add, so I'm gonna make a little line like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the ones this way, I'm going to add the tens this way, and I'm gonna add, add the hundreds that way. Okay, but we've got regrouping right here in the middle, so I'm gonna kinda show you how to do that. So we know that five plus three is eight. Those are ones, no big deal. We can line them up and we can get our answer right here. Right here uh, in the tens, you've got a 70 and a 40. And we know that 70 and 40 is 110, right? So we have to move 100 over here, just like we did it. We're gonna move 100, and it should be on the top right here, actually. Move 100 right over here, and you've got 10 left. So that 10 goes just right there. That's a 10. Got that? For 110, that's your 10. So your 100 is moved over here, and now you're going to add 400 plus 300 is 700. And don't forget the 100 that you added over. That's another 100, so that would be 800. Okay, so I've just showed you three different ways to do it. And if you have any questions or you need any help, be sure to get in touch with your teacher or you can get in touch with me. And I hope you guys have a great afternoon.